bombed out and destroyed. Industrial productivity is a target of the Assad regime aerial attacks on Idlib province. That's what ended production at this cotton processing factory. This isn't the first time the factory was attacked. We did some renovation and then production lines were operational. But on August the 30th, the factory was hit with 17 airstrikes. They hit the production lines directly and caused large fires and destroyed everything. And as you can see, the damage is serious. Mohammed says his and thousands of other families lost their jobs because of the attack. This factory was one of the best in the north. It's very serious that without the factory, between 1,000 and 2,000 families are no longer going to have an income. It was an entire economic cycle. We would be buying cotton from farmers, processing it, making it into yarn and selling it. Mohammed teaches economics at a university in Idlib. He says the Assad regime wants to destroy all productivity in opposition-controlled areas. Attacking factories like this affects the local economy negatively because the basic materials needed to make these factories work comes from farmers. And when the factories are stopped, the farmers can't sell their products. This affects the industrial production of all raw materials. This significantly affects the income of workers and puts a lot of people out of work, forcing them to think about leaving these areas or even engaging in criminal activities activity to support their families. At least one person was killed by rockets like this one, which destroyed the machines and put this factory out of business. The Assad regime's strategy is not only to carry out a military assault on Idlib province, but an economic one as well. Hassan works in a money exchange shop in Sarma, the north of Idlib, and he says the Assad regime is trying to take foreign currency out of Idlib. The increase in prices right now is being caused by the Assad regime. They are playing with the price of the dollars to take as much foreign currency from Idlib for their own markets. The regime wants to make life miserable for the people living in the opposition areas and make life so unbearable so that people would feel like they need to go back to the regime areas or let the regime take over these areas. Locals say the cost of daily life has become more expensive than ever before. Nobody is able to afford anything. Prices are really high, and everywhere you go, everyone wants to get paid in dollars. If you want vegetables, the seller wants dollars. If you want clothes, they want dollars. The situation is really unstable. Assad regime attacks on local businesses and a weakening local currency are leaving hundreds of thousands of civilians, most of whom are displaced from other parts of Syria, stranded in a war zone with dwindling resources. Obaidahito, TRT World, Idlib, Syria.